Uh, my name is Maz Abu Salam. I'm a journalist and, and projects manager for different aid projects and youth and children projects around in Gaza Strip or Palestine. And uh, working now in Germany and in Stockholm after like getting my freedom uh, and getting out from Gaza after four years of trying to get out beside the blockade in Gaza Strip. And now I'm uh, touring around Europe and I'm speaking tours and uh, I'm studying down in Slovakia in Bratislava. Uh, having a workshop here so like with the students teaching them and raising the awareness uh, about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And uh, that is a bit of what I am doing for now. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, what is the situation in Palestine? If you could just, you know, to introduce okay, us. Into I can say, I can say the situation in Palestine, kind of a, a inhuman, or a, like, so, like you can say, it's a blockade, it is occupation. So no one can be happy with occupation inside Palestine. In the meantime, like if there is no right for a human, there is nothing to. To, there is no situation. The situation always have to be good if there is situation, but the situation is bad because there is incubation, there is settlements being built inside Wisbon, there is a blockade and open prison inside Gaza in around around one million and six hundred thousand people, you know, and there is uh, and respect for uh, the legal uh, international uh, laws and the human rights organization and the human rights laws around all over the world which telling Israel that they have to leave the blockade and they have to stop the settlement and freezing it they have to give the right of retain for the Palestinian. they have to stop demolishing houses in West Bank and in Gaza and inside Jerusalem so that is differences in what how is the city and this is a little of what is going on because if you go, come back to what going what what was going on before and every day like every daily life like you can see in Gaza for example there is invading every day there is killing people every day there is no 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 farmers can farm in their lands there is no fishermen can fish in our sea in our water you know there is no no pe no, 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 no no persons can like just go and demonstrate close to the borders because they're putting just buffer zones and they are just dem demolishing and destroying all the the the, the olive tree close to the borders because they, it's for security reason for them so this is a bit of what's going on people are still having life and people still want optimistic, optimistic from a peace process maybe it can be good when I, I do not believe in all the peace process that was in but in the meantime I, I say that we are still interesting in doing in, do, in, in having a, a peace in our lands and being so uh, because we are so peaceful people and we are looking to, uh, to uh, from the world and from the international committee to respect what is going on you know inside uh, inside uh, Palestine and let also the Israelis to respect and put more pressures on the Israeli uh, government to give the lands to the Palestinian and to stop and the settlement inside West Bank and to be under all the peace process that being signed with the Palestinian um, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, the PLO inside Palestine, you know, and other uh, and our government inside Palestine. Right. Well, my one of my questions was about the peace process. Yeah. Um, do you believe in peace process? Do you I'm think mostly, I'm mostly very peaceful persons who, who who don't like peace. You know, peace is very simple. This is something that everyone wanna live inside. Like, well, I, I'm here in Europe. I feel that very peaceful. I've been very safe. I, I do, do would love to my people inside Palestine to walk in the streets. Like I'm walking here, and just uh, do not think about there is a plane above their head, or there is a tanks. Maybe they will shoot. They will shoot, will shoot them, and maybe there are some some snipers. They will kill them. You know. So that's what I I don't I do do what do want my people to live inside. Peace of process between governments and politics. Me myself, as a Palestinian, I do not believe in all the peace process that being implemented with Israel because Israel, they, are, and they are, they do not respect anything. Belongs like if you come back, we get just get, can give some examples of what's going on during the blockades. Now, till now, Gaza is under the blockade. All the human rights organization and all the United Nations organization they are telling Israel, excuse me, Israel, that there is illegal blockades going under like one million and six hundred thousand people and you are not listening this is illegal and this is against the human rights or against the human rights laws and this is against the international laws but they are, they are, you are not listening Israel so always the act of listening the act of love and the act of peace but there is no act from the Israeli bar to implement that type of peace 
that we are talking about because they want their peace. Their peace is, you know, is like not just stopping the settlements and adding and making this apartheid and building, completing this apartheid wall, you know, demolishing houses inside West Bank and inside Jerusalem, you know, killing people inside uh, in the non balance demonstration in Balain and Nalin, you know, making new racism against the Palestinians who live inside Israel, you know. So all this stuff, all this stuff, it is. Uh, it is in the, it's unimplemented. So wh wh how do you look at peace? You know, I cannot come to your house. You know, I cannot never come to any to, to, to your house and say to you, okay, go out from your house, your, your, your house, and I will give you all, or I will give you the bathroom from your house. One 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 thing, you know, or I will give you put you in the street and will take all the house, and then what you will do? Nothing. You will just be in the street, and after a couple of years, I will come to you when you are in the street and say to you that, excuse me. I will give you a peace. You have to make peace. But give me something. Give me my house back. Okay, we make peace a process. You know, and I give you some rooms from that. Even you are not implementing, you are not giving me my room and you tell the world that, oh, we are making peace. What the peace that you are talking about? It is not a peace. It's not peace. Peace coming with justice. And if justice comes for the Palestinians, there is, there is a peace coming. But there is no justice. And there is no one is this, no, no one is listening. So what you are looking for? Nothing. Mm -hmm. there is, so there is no peace, but we are still hoping. We are still hoping for a new government and Israel can implement something. We are still hoping for more pressure from the international community and from the, 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 all the governments and the European Union and USA to put more pressures in the Israeli side to let them implement and to let them, them stop the violation against the human rights which is going on inside Palestine. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's almost it's something over a year since the atrocious attack on Gaza from Israel. Yeah. Why it happened? There is always uh, excuses for Israel. You know, they are telling you that they are, uh, there is rockets going from Gaza to Israel. You know, I just tell you something. In aesthetics, in ten years, you know, the, 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 the last eight years, which when, when the, the, the rockets start to come from Gaza to Israel, when they are all the day, every day they are throwing rockets to the tunnels to houses, to a lot of places, in excuses that there is these people that are building rockets there and they are linking, making bombs there, when it is all for civilians and the people who have been injured in this place they are children and they are, they are civilians, they, are, they, they don't have any weapons, they are living with their house, in their home, and with their family and they are just killing them, you know, so you come back to the point that there is no excuse because if you come back to the static 8 years ago, there is a 22 person was killed during 8 years, you know, from the Israeli soldiers close to the borders from these rockets, you know. So, and all the rockets that been thrown to Israel was in the desert. And no, nothing arrived to any city. One, two arrived, three arrived, ten arrived. Most it's go to Israel, it's come back to us. You know, they throw it, it's come back to Gaza. So people who killed from our rockets from Gaza more than the people who killed from the Israeli side. But you just get, get back to the comparative that you look at the Palestinian side and you look at one side in 22 days during the, during the massacres which was going on inside Gaza they were killing more than 1,450 1, persons and they were, they were more than, more than 5,350 they were injured and most of them they are children from the people who were killed there is 320 children, and, children. And, and women and women and also women there is more than 250 women that were killed. There is elderly people, there were kind of more than 200 pe pe persons that were killed. So they are killing more than 70 persons from the people who were killed inside the massacres. They were civ civilians, they are living in their house. One of them they are, was my uncle. He was killed because he was, he was going to uh, bring bread for us because we do not have bread in our house. And during the safe time that telling the Palestinians during that time, oh, you have two hours where they will not shoot any time. So that is the civil, that is that is what they want, the Israelis. There is no peace. The peace that they are talking about is not like this. If you feel, you have your humanity, but there is no they, they don't have any humanity. These people they are just telling telling stories to the to the world by their medias and letting like my friends there, he, she's from US and she was telling me that Najid, the media was telling that uh, Gaza is attacking Israel. Excuse me? During the massacre, Gaza was attacking Israel. That's why, in that time, there were just 12, 12 uh, soldiers were killed from the Israeli side, and 1,450, more than 1,450, were killed from the Palestinian side. What the comparative you are talking about? 
with the fourth powerful country in the world, which is Israel, with a small Gaza city, that they are just looking at it as a big part, and it is the big problem in the Middle East, which all the borders, it's controlled by the Israelis. And there is no need to anything, there is no, no, no life there. And all our life coming from the life tunnels that coming from Egypt, which the young people, they are building into bringing food and medicine to Gaza. And come back to the point that why if you are feeling our human and there does have to be a human rights in this world, why there is more than 400 person inside Gaza was killed because they could not find the medicine to, to, to just to get the treatment inside Gaza. And also when they have to go outside Gaza, they, do not, they cannot go outside Gaza to Egypt because there is a closing if they close the borders and Israel they don't want anyone to open any borders around one million and six hundred thousand. What the humanity they are talking about? What the human rights they are talking about? It is not it is not the like if you if you look at a human rights fair, you look at yourself you have to compare yourself as you one living in Slovakia or you one living in Germany with all the freedom that you have, with all the human rights that you have, and the democracies that you have, and you look at, at, at Palestine and you look what they are what's going on there. Which conflict is going on there? You know, and what's like everything is against the human rights. So what? What you're waiting from the Israelis? But I'm not waiting anything from the Israelis. I'm waiting from the people. I'm waiting from the international committees to do something. I'm waiting from the Israeli people who live in Israel to stay to say that go out from the Palestinian lands. But I would don't think that a lot of Israelis will make it. Because when some Israelis make it and they're making kind of a group Israelis against occupation in Berlin, all the people they were against them. And when it's Carter group coming from America to be in solidarity with with with, with, Palis, with Palestinian and say to Israel this is the Palis, the Israel, even the Israeli state it is the Palestinian state you know it is not called Israel it's Palestinian incubate but it's our land it's my my my, my father and motherland you know that's how is it Israelis just came in you know so what is it what you want <laughs> from Slovak people or maybe from Europeans well, in general I'm not, I'm not I'm from 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 Europeans like you you we have to make we have we have to be together we have to be united for Palestinians you know we have to be in solidarity with all uh, because if we cannot have the solutions from our governments European governments we have to put more pressures in our governments to help and to push in the Israeli in, 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 a, in a diplomatic way you know, and in a political way, you know, when I know that all the politicians and all the politics inside Europe, it's already corrupted and already, it's already, it's already all pro-Israel, you know, but I feel that it is politics, it's a high level policy, you know, I don't, I want the low level policy, which are the peoples, you know, as they make in the South African complex, they have to make it now and they have to start to push from the, by, by doing demonstration, by making campaigns, by signing uh, papers, to against against what Israel going uh, doing inside Palestine and inside Gaza and West Bank and Jerusalem, you know, with all the occupations, you know. So that's how is it? Mm -hmm. Anything against then, humanity? Then, 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 then Israel can 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 see that there is people that are woke, and there is not people that they, there is no people that we have to be we have to stop to be ignorant about the conflict of conflict inside Palestine, and you have to stop to watch this media which is pro Israel and look very well and open our eyes very well and read what's going on from under the lines and how they are trying to just blind us by their information like they blind the Americans and let them pay taxes with billions of dollars and this tax is then coming to, to donate it to Israel to buy, to, to buy uh, military rockets and then these rockets come into Palestine by the taxes of the Americans, you know, and they bought, they come into Palestine by what? By rockets and by bombs throwing to the civilians, to the humans inside, inside uh, Gaza. And then you can, you come and you say like, you say, you say that you saw, you say in the rocket that written made in your ass. Okay. In the bomb that's made in your ass. Mm -hmm. This is the blind people. So people have to woke up. People have to look at themselves. People have to see what's going on. People have to be in solidarity. People have to ignore their governments and be and don't think that he's alone. There's a lot of people they wanna woke up and they wanna be in solidarity and they wanna woke up their humanity and see, and give because they are living in a freedom and they are having all their human rights, then they wanna give this a uh, human rights and this uh, what's and, and to, to give to give their freedom that they, they have and all the rights they have to, to the Palestinian because they see what's going on. And how Israel is ignorance, and how Israel just is not listening to anyone, because they love peace, and we love peace, and we have this communism, but we hate peace without justice.
and our justice is our human rights.